Hey, Sony, you think you're cool? You think you can just debunk my A7S III within, what, three months? You're gonna release this thing? It's, good. Okay, it's a killer. Look at the body, it's gray, it has holes in it. For screws, you can mount power lines. Today we talk a little bit about this new body, the FX3. I like the look of that thing. Hey, I don't like the look of the disappointment on my face owning an irrelevant piece of shit. But I'll buy it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So according to Sony Alpha Rumors, the number one rumor site on the flat earth right now, he gets his rumors by mating two gerbils and then the shape of the placenta coming out. It's like, F, FX3, I see it now. And then he takes a photo of some random ass hardware from 1971. That's why I like them. So we got some leaks. I figured we'd talk some shit about the body. Interesting design. I like the look of it. Look at that thing. It's a, it's gray. It looks tough. Looks like a tank, like you could throw that thing. I might, depending on the slow motion footage ability. But first of all, why do people do this? Here's an image. We got a leak. Some dickhead just ruined his relationship with Sony. It's like, I'm gonna, oh look here. I, I know I signed an NDA, but I'm gonna leak it. You're a demon. So we have this picture of the demon hand holding this new FX3. And then Sony Alpha Rumors will put their version with the little thumbnail bullshit watermark. Oh, it's my picture. It wasn't. It was this guy's picture. And then they over sharpened it and cropped off the tiny corner of the left piece. Where's my left screen? That's where all the information I need is. And it's gone. It's like photographers who put their watermark like, oh, don't use my, nobody wants your image of the lake. Your stupid lake, I hope you drown in it and your kid tries to save you and he's abandoned forever. That's, uh, that took a turn for the worst. So I've taken a look around the front and the back of this bitch. We found some secrets, some amazing things, some like questionable like canon level shit. Let's just get into this body. Let's just appreciate something new looking kind of. Just that gray body. It has that FX6 type of gray. I like it. It looks tough in the black accents. We're getting there to, a, I would almost be seen in public with it. Not bad. Look at those function buttons. We got six at least. Look at all those things. Just white balance there. Little tally light. Is that a tally light? That better be a tally light. I'll be honest with you. I don't need much. The couple front dials to change exposure. The odd thing like stabilization, digital crop. I just like a good quick menu, touch it. We're good, but lots of function buttons. Something I don't, however, understand. It appears that they've gone away from the beloved on off switch here to a zoom rocker. That's something your grandmother would punish you for. Who's, let me zoom on the, oh, it's a prime lens. Oh, this button no longer works, but it's fully integrated and unremovable. Oh God. And I swear to God, if you were about to say, maybe that's for the digital zoom. Of course it is. Of course it is. It's a very reasonable solution. So what? I don't, I prefer, that's a Canon level mistake right there. A left-handed on switch. Oh, look at that amazing foot. Oh, ow. ow. I may over dramatize that one, but the on off is just perfect. Boom, and I'm carrying it on. Uh -uh. So where is the on off button you may ask? We gotta flip around to the side, the back. So this is my first major complaint here, unless you count the other ones I've already mentioned. It appears to be a side switching on off button. I don't love it. I haven't felt it. Maybe it feels good, but I doubt it. The menu button is at least somewhat on this side. That's also another annoyance. Right now I have my menu button remapped to the middle one between the little dial thing, and that works nice, except when you're in the menu and it says press menu to go back, I can't because it's the forward button. 
So that was user error on my part. I should have remapped it to something else. But then I have to left hand again. I should never need this hand in real life, ever. We got a mode button. Sony playing the innovation tactic. No more dials. You press a button and then the options come up. Aperture priority, which is what you should be in all, no matter what sunlight is happening to your face. Shutter speeds don't matter for filmmaking. Write that down. A mode button could be good. I, I'm not a fan. When you look at the top of this camera, all those screws, we know that Sony reptilians dig underneath our flat earth for warm cavernous remains. They mine copper and magnesium for their bodies and they like warm tunnels. This allows the heat to escape from their inner hollow earth to our earth so they can intermingle with us. I don't, I don't see the point of it. I don't like putting things on my camera. I would never use those, but it's cool that there's a hole for water to get into. I don't mind that. Now, one of the dumbest solutions to a problem I never had is this joystick mover on top of the camera. Is that a Canon touch bar level mistake or the best new way to be? I don't know. I just imagine, not that I ever use that, but to do it, you move the thing and then shoot. Whereas this, you need to switch your finger. Oh, I got it. Uh, you leap. In that dramatic leap to the record button right next to it, you're going to move the joystick button. You're going to tap it at least once. Tap that ass, Sony. And she looked thick. That She got back on that. She's There's a vent for sure. It sticks out. It's, it's fat. Fully articulator. We're liking that, Sony. We're liking that. It's probably one of those old screens. I can't tell. I can't imagine they upgraded it. They have 750 billion screens. They purchased from Kodak in 1976. They're like, okay, that's the cheapest deal. Can we really use that many screens for that long? Apparently they can. One dot on the thing, but it's fully articulating. And I don't mind that. I don't mind you at all. Honestly though, we got front and rear dials and a back wheel. That's everything you need, and a bunch of function buttons, a new mode thing, we don't know what it is. Not bad. It's a not bad body. The power switch is in the wrong place. I don't know how heavy that thing is. That's a tank made of alloys that are mixed with iron. So that leaves us to wonder, this is a cinema designed camera in a small form factor. I thought that's what the A7S was but it's clearly not. You know what the A7, I realized it. It's a low light camera, but not even a daytime camera. It's, it must be at dark time in reptilian caverns underneath near the copper because it doesn't do that well up to like 6,400, up to 12,800, it's kind of laughable. But then if that's somehow your goal to shoot beyond that at night, for hooker vlogs, Sony's your way. Now what's this thing gonna be? I feel like this is the video thing that the A7S was supposed to be, but much better. There's no Ibis in that thing, I don't see it. I'm not seeing the steady shot inside, it's up there. I don't see 4K either, so it's a 1080p cam. No Ibis, variable ND filter definitely in there. Could be. It better be. Why wouldn't it be? In my camera, the Sapphire, that should have been a camcorder, first of all. I don't know why I didn't. That was the first thing that should have happened. No IBIS. I removed the IBIS. It's all lens stabe and variable digital NDs. That better be what you did. Although all my favorite lenses, like the Voidy Lander, do not have stabe, so that would be a problem on your system. It won't be on mine. So good luck stealing my ideas, bitch. That thing's halfway to production. We don't know a lot. The rumors are it's doing 8K, 4K DCI downsampled. I even, I think the Sony Elf rumor guy, he's like, I hope it does 8K. What the hell do you need 8K for to steal thumbnails of demon rats? 
their NDA disagreements, their thumb, their stupid thumb that he broke on the off switch. Nobody needs 8K. You're crying for 8K, oh, please. So it can compete with the Canon R5 wobbly bullshit heat maker. What is this thing gonna have that impresses us beyond the A7S line? It's gotta be raw internal. It looks like it can handle heat. My sensor in the Sapphire is gonna go down to the minimum amount. I think it's eight megapixels can do 4K. That's what we got. And our sensor is cinematic, 17 by nine or something. Not this square bullshit. The Huawei, that's a lie. You're a lie. This thing has the biggest sensor, but when you look at the shape of it, it's like a square. You gotta cut into that thing to make video. That shrinks it by 50%. Thanks. So in my opinion, this thing needs 4K raw 12 bit internal. And that's it. 960 frames per second, 4K. It can handle the heat, I can see it. In 7,680 frames. Just make a Huawei phone in a Sony body and appease me. So let me know what you think's gonna be in this thing. If you have any leaks from untrustworthy people, post them down below. And there we have it. Something exciting, something I didn't predict. They had five cameras registered. I thought it would be not that. I was expecting four Sony X4000 iterations and they didn't come, I don't think. But they'll be there eventually. I'm gonna leave after you buy a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for my channel. Sony Autofocus. So amazing.